Don't tell me little time tells. I'll do it today. But baby, if you are Kylie Jenner, baby, first of all, all your stunt queen assets had you fallen flat at Fashion Week. But also, new information is coming out on her and Travis's breakup and how basically Kylie thought by standing next to his side during Astral World, she was guaranteed an engagement and a huge wedding. And Travis literally looked at her and said, Well, um, thanks for that. I'm gonna. I'm got, no, 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 I don't, I don't want a sandwich. No, no, don't use DoorDash. I don't want a sandwich. I'm just, I'm just going to go, right? Also, everybody is trying, the Kardashians are trying to push this narrative of, oh, it's fine. They'll probably get together. They're always going to be friends. But astute people on Instagram are no, not on Instagram, but on social media are noticing that can't be true. Why? Because Kylie unveiled her son to the world. People are saying, one, Travis didn't want this. She's doing this as an F you to Travis because she can't get like whatever. We're going to talk about that. But also, Travis has been really silent. He hasn't liked the picture. He hasn't commented. But more than that, Travis's friends and family haven't either. And if you don't know, Travis was always the first to congratulate Stormy all up, up under Stormy's post, especially again. I think there's something there. You unveil your son to the world and baby, the father is sitting there on curtains. People are surmising that whatever went down with them was big and something they're not coming back from. Baby, let's get into this mess. Um, but before we do, do me a girl a favor and hit that like button. Also, you guys, I'm dropping a special video today about what happened to Zakira, uh, uh, Zakira Kemp. This is going to blow your mind. Hit that notification if you are into that. Zakira Kemp is a mystery um, of what actually happened to her. And I've got some detailed insider information that you're not going to find anywhere else. Okay, let's get into this, right? Um first let's talk about how travis has been crickets curtains whatever and people are saying they think it's over now as you know kylie posted adorable pictures of her and travis's son we will call as you guys know there was a little kerfuffle about the son's name lebanese arabic and in a lot of Arabic, because, you know, Arabic, each area has their own little kind of like, not dialect, but like there's a Lebanese version of uh, Arabic. We'll call it Lebanese, right? Um, it means my hoo -hoo, my eggplant, my goldenrod in Lebanese Arabic. A lot of people said, oh, my God, who cares? Who cares? Actually, no one. You can rename your child anything, but it's a vulgar way of saying that. More importantly, there are 415 million people that speak Arabic. More importantly, baby, you live in Southern California, Tarantula, Little Persia, little, little, little Lebanon. Are you serious to say that, especially in those rich, affluent communities, that your child, y'all tripping if y'all believe, listen, I know I'm American and I center America in the world too, but even I can admit, but you know what, you name your son what you want. And at the end of the day, maybe she'll reclaim that word and it won't mean it, okay? Regardless, super, super cute son. I just think that the issue is, I don't think she named her son on purpose. I just think it's kind of weird that they're always taking things from other cultures and just looking at it on the surface level. Oh, I like the way that sounds without actually digging to actually see what it means. And again, Kylie Jenner is a social media maven. If you think that they did not research the name of that child if you well, maybe they didn't anyway let's move on into the mess because that's something for another video we can have the debate there it doesn't matter anyway um she so she posted a photo and she uh released his name as air i think she's airbending y'all know i'm a big fan of um, the last airbender right um let's think about it you got stormy who's water you got air who is air next they're gonna need fagel fagel and terrain that's earth and fire right maybe they'll name them fire in lebanese just round it out right anyway um uh let's see so she literally posted up on social media proud mama that boy b boy is so pretty and she said the post comes just weeks after kylie and Tra travis broke up they said Kylie and Travis were off again, just so you guys know, they were supposed to spend the holidays and New Year's together, but something happened and she went to Aspen to be with her family and friends up there. Why is that? Because the Meg Thee Stallion trial came out. Megan let it be known that one of the reasons what caused the argument between her and Tori is Kylie and Tori Lanes 
there was something going on between them. If you guys don't know, Tori and Travis have deep, deep beef. Tori tried to roll up on Travis, looking up on him like fighting Irish, mm, right? Travis looked down on him like the bull, like, boy, come on, man, I got things to lose. I know you trying to get rich off a mixtape, no album out, but baby, I got things to lose. It went nowhere, but Tori even put Travis Scott in his songs, trying to clout, clout trace Travis Scott. They can't stand each other. And for Kylie to be messing with Travis, yeah, you know what that is. If that if it happened the way that it seemed like it happened in trial, baby, this is what happened. Because it happened around that time in December when they were super, super tight. And then Travis was like, no more, no more, right? Now, the source says this has happened so many times before, but they've been known to be on again, off again, but will always remain friends and great co-parents, right? But fans aren't buying it. They're saying that one, they think that the reason that she never posted the baby before is because Travis was completely against it. Now that Travis and Kylie have completely broken up and it looks like Kylie is on Travis's S list, right? Uh, now that they've completely broken up, they are saying that Kylie then as like, one, to get his attention, but two, as an F you to get under his skin, defied him and posted his son on social media. People said, noted, that Travis was super, super quiet in comments and didn't even like the post. They said, where's Travis? Does he know that Kylie posted their son for the first time? He didn't like the post and he didn't post anything. Someone also say, yo, you notice Kylie didn't tag him on uh, in his son's picture like he used to tag him in Stormy's pics. Again, this isn't just some random picture. This is him, her introducing her son to the world. Somebody else said, it's the same thing I was wondering. His siblings didn't even like or comment either. So nobody from his immediate family commented, liked, or said anything either. Someone also said, I just noticed that it's weird. Something for sure happened between Kylie and Travis and his big. I think it's the Tory Lanez, but it might be something even deeper, which is Travis doesn't want to commit to her, used her for Astroworld. And now that it's time for him to pay the piper, he's like, I don't sing, I don't dance. Anyway, because another suspicious person said, revealing the baby's name now was definitely planned. Something's up for sure. But another one blamed Travis saying, I could be wrong, but at this point, I guess it was Travis who didn't want his son on social media. They're really done. It was probably him that couldn't confirm the name. He kept wanting to change his mind, remember? I say no, they're over for good. And she took control back by naming his son, okay? And I'll be honest, Aaron's a cute name. The baby's a cute baby. They're rich. Maybe they'll reclaim the world, you know, right? But let's get into this. Um... Now, their exclusive reporting that Travis's failure to fully commit played uh, into the couple's most recent breakup. Now, I will say, I don't even believe that they were back together. Kylie leaves a very private life, so you never know when Travis is on and when Travis is off, but I don't think it's commitment. I think it's when Travis wants to see her again, and then when he leaves, he can leave what he wants. Because the last time we got a status update on Travis and Kylie's relationship, Travis said they broke up six or nine months after Starmie was born and they never were together, right? And they didn't even live together. And W Magazine printed that. And then Chloe went around saying, I don't know why Travis would say that. That's totally not true. But get this, one of the contributing factors to their most recent split is that after six years together and two children, Travis still hasn't shown Kylie that he's 100% committed to her life saying this is exclusively to Hollywood life, so you know it's real. He's known for several years that Kylie wanted to be engaged. They even talked about it, but the ring never came and friends and family believe that she deserves this. She has wanted her dream wedding for so long and Travis is aware of this. Again, I think that's one of the reasons Kylie stuck by Travis Scott so much and tried to rehab his image after Astroworld because she was trying to be a ride or die. We all know what happens to ride or dies, right? Now, they're saying that Kylie's family is aware of it too. When he took her on a special Mother's Day trip, remember they went to the Turks and Ka uh, Chaos, Kakos case, 
Turks and chaos. Why can I ever say? And I've been there. I could never. All I hear is cacao. Anyway, our source told us in a separate comments that her near and dear family members were hoping for an engagement. They said as far as an engagement, Kylie's family has been pushing for this so hard and everyone can only hope he proposes soon. Imagine doing all this, even having a second child for a man, because Kylie's young and she's misguided uh, thinking uh, a child would keep him. But imagine doing all this for a man, only for him to take you on a special Mother's Day trip, not even romantic holiday, Mother's Day, so he can prove to all the girls that he's actually seeing the actually likes. I'm just congratulating her for being the best mother she can to my children. He didn't even let her say that was a romantic holiday. It's a Mother's Day trip, y'all. Anyway, right? Um, they also failed to spend the holidays together after welcoming their second child on February 2nd, 2022. They said Kylie and Travis are off again. They were supposed to spend the holidays together. Again, she went to Aspen. Uh, da, da, da. According to our source, however, they recently hit a rough patch, Tory Lanes, and had been affected by stress. Still, they noted, no one can never say never when it comes to the famous duo. The two of them have been through a rough patch recently because they were both super stressed with their busy schedules. They'd broken up several times before and gotten back together. And no one is surprised that they'd do it again. After everything he went through this past year, the fact that Kylie stood behind, beside him speaks volumes. It does. And I think Kylie 100% loves the mm, out of Travis. I 100% do think that that speaks volumes. But the fact that Travis will not publicly claim you ever, the fact that Travis won't give you a ring, the fact that Travis, after two kids and you helping him to ask the world, doesn't think you deserve a commitment, doesn't not even deserve, doesn't want to give you commitment. The fact that even for the one romantic trip he said as a thank you was a Mother's Day trip, the fact that he ditched you for the holidays, and New Year's Eve, yo, I think that speaks volumes. And especially when you look at Tauruses and the way they're about their family, y'all, Kylie, please, baby, move on. Yes, Travis will always keep coming back. If you let a Taurus use you, they will use you, right? They will use you. And I'm just saying, just like what Kylie's doing speaks volumes, baby, what Travis is doing, acting and saying, speaks a million volumes. And I just want, woo. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.